Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today we'll be talking about the different types of solutions to systems of equations. Now if you haven't watched our previous videos on systems of equations, they will be linked in the description below as well as on the top right hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out before watching this one. So there are three different types of solutions to systems of equations. One solution, no solution, and infinitely many solutions. So when graphed, a system of equations with one solution would look like this. Two or more lines will intersect at exactly one point, hence one solution. And a system of equations that has one solution will be called a consistent system. Now an equation with no solution will be where two or more lines never intersect. And that is when the lines are parallel. So if we have two parallel lines like this, the lines never intersect, and therefore there is no solution. And equations or system of equations that have no solution are called inconsistent. Now, infinitely many solutions will look like this. So we have one line like this, and then the other line will be right on top of that line. So you can barely tell that there are two different lines. That's what you call infinitely many solutions. It's basically when you have the exact same equation written in two different ways. And there's infinitely many solutions because the two lines intersect at infinitely many points. And this type of system of equations will be called dependent systems. Now an example of a system of equations with one solution would be y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals 3x minus 2. If we solve this, we can set them equal to each other. And then we have 1 equals x. And then plug in the 1 for one of the y values. So we do 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 1. So the, there's only one solution x equals 1 and y equals 1. Now, a system of equations with no solution would be something like 2x minus 1 and y equals 2x plus 1. First of all, by looking at it, you can tell, since it is both of the equations are in slope-intercept form, that they have the same slopes. But if we were to solve it, we would have 2x equals 1 equals 2x plus 1, since we're setting both of the equation equal to each other. We can subtract 2x from both sides and we're left with negative 1 equals 1, which is not true. So if you get an equation that is not true, it's no solution. Now infinitely many solutions will look something like this. Now, if you simplify down this equation, you can divide both sides by 7 to get this equation right here, which are the same equations. Or if we wanted to solve this, so we set y, and then we can substitute in y for this y, 7x plus 7 times x equals 21, 7x minus 7x plus 7 times 3 is 21 equals 21 and combining like terms you're left with 0 so 21 equals 21 so if you get 
anything like x equals x, y equals y, 21 equals 21, that it would be infinitely many solutions. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.